So today I'm going to be doing the 15 weird facts tag. I was watching Maddie's, Maddie Ziggler's video to this before and thought I would give it a go so you guys get to know me a bit better. I haven't done a tag like this before but I thought I'd give it a go. I will also try and put Maddie's video in the description box down below as well as the questions. So let's get started on the questions. I've got them all on my phone here. You can't even see that. All the questions are on my phone and it's not going to focus. Oh yeah, it's going to focus. So question number one was, is, what's a nickname only your family calls you? Um, it's, well, it's kind of an inside thing and it's not just me that gets caught it, two of my other cousins also get caught it because we are, I guess, the bitches of the family. Um, we get called, like, bitch all the time. Um, and then I guess another one would be KK. So, yeah. What's a weird habit of yours? Um, I've got two weird habits. Um, one is playing with my hair. I'm always fiddling with my hair of some sort. And then recently, um, um, right after Christmas, I got my tongue done. If you want a video on all my piercings and like my tattoos and like my pain, how I was with the pain, um, just let me know in the comments below and I'll do that for you. But ever since I got my tongue done, I've been constantly like tapping it on my teeth and it is really really bad for your teeth to be tapping a metal bar on them but I do it anyway and I also like roll it onto the like on my lip like like I also do that and my sister it annoys my sister so much because she can't stand the sound of the bar on my teeth number three do you have any weird phobias? Um, I don't have any weird phobias, like extremely out of the ordinary ones, but I am not the biggest fan when it comes to heights, and I guess I am, yeah, I don't like being forced in to doing things that I don't want to do, so I have I guess a phobia of people like forcing me to do things that I don't want to do. I'm the type of person that will just do things when I'm ready to do them. And if you force me, then yeah. Um, next one. What's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? Um, what's a song that I sing a lot of? There are a few. Um, I'll just check on my Spotify what song. Um, I've been getting like after the after party stuck in my head from Charlie XCX. Um, that one I sing a lot of. And then probably Kendall K's new song where would I be without you that would probably be another one of mine that I just randomly start singing out I'm not gonna lie I was singing it before this before I decided to film number five what's one of your biggest pet peeves oh, this it annoys me so much this pet peeve of mine and my sister laughs at me because of it and it's just how I guess I was grown like how I grew up to be because I used to do like I used to be a cleaner for like a company so it annoys me more after like it annoys me more now than what it did before I started cleaning and that is people who cannot clean up after themselves I hate it when you go to a restaurant and There are people that 
eat and then walk away but do not they go past the bin as they're leaving the restaurant but they don't take their rubbish as they go to the bin it annoys the absolute crap out of me and I absolutely hate it it is a weird one and my sister and my brother do look at me when I do it because I always go to them oh make sure you take your rubbish with you make sure you take your rubbish with you it's not like yeah if you do cleaning of some sort or if you work in the food industry you are not getting like you are getting paid to clean but at the same time as I was saying um, like yeah you do get paid to clean up your workplace but it's also the responsibility of the customers to put their own rubbish in the bin and not yours as a worker so that would probably be my biggest pet peeve um, number six what's one of your nervous nervous habits I don't even I, I can just use a liquid lipstick sorry I just had to go do something um, what was I getting at nervous habits when I was in school and I still do it now I'm just going to use my mirror for like purpose of the sound. I used to always grab a pencil and if I was bored or if I was nervous I would do this on the table or whatever surface with the pencil and that was just a nervous habit and probably another one is playing with my hair again. Um, I think a lot of girls are going to say playing with their hair so yeah that was another one. Um, number seven, what side of the bed do you sleep on? I used to sleep on the left side of my bed, now I sleep on the right side of my bed. Um, number eight, what was the first stuffed animal and what was its name? Um, I didn't, I do have a stuffed animal that I used to sleep with and I also have like not a, yeah I guess it's a teddy but it's not a teddy bear um, I actually still have it and it is really really old I've still got both of them that teddy bear does not have a name I never named it but this here I had well I got like the day I the day I was born and her name is Marie which is my middle name and she's I would like to say she's 20 years old she's probably even older than that but yeah that is one that I used to sleep with all the time um, what is your what's the drink you always order at Starbucks um, it's not that we don't have Starbucks here in Australia, we do. It's all the way in Brisbane and I don't live in Brisbane. Um, so I don't really order a Starbucks. But at my clo like my coffee shop that I go to, which is Gloria Jeans, um, I always organise a signature iced coffee with sweetener and whipped cream with caramel on top. So yeah. That is my signature go to coffee. I do try out the other coffees, but that is my favourite and it's just a regular iced coffee that you can make at home, it's nothing special, but it is really good. Alright, number 10. Which way do you face the shower? Well, that depends. If I'm washing my hair, then I face away from the shower head, but if I'm not washing my hair and if I'm shaving washing my face, I face the shower head, um, yeah, it's weird, but whatever, um, number 11, do you have any weird body skills, weird body skills, I, I wouldn't say I do have any weird body skills, <laughs> so, yeah, um, number 12, What's your favourite comfort food that is bad for you but you can, but you eat it anyways? Um, 
just any junk food in general mainly chocolate I freaking love chocolate but I guess the only thing I hate about it is like how thirsty you get after you eat it so I think my answer would have to be chocolate um, 13 what's a phrase what like what's a phrase you always say um a phrase I always say um to my siblings to my brother and sister if they're arguing I always go children even though they are teenagers and they're not really classed as well they're still classed as children but not really classed as children um I always go children will you calm down or children do this children do that it's children and they're not really children so that would be my phrase I always say um number 14 what do you wear when you go to sleep um singlet shirt and a pair of shorts is my main thing that I wear when I go to sleep if it's winter and it's really cold it doesn't get that cold here where I'm from um but if it is really really cold then I chuck on a pair of track pants and wear a singlet and the last one what did you used to wear that you thought was cool but now you realize it isn't um I used to have a skirt I don't have it now obviously but when I was in my early teens and when I was like 10 years 10 12 11 and 12 years old I had a skirt from my auntie I used to freaking love the skirt so much and I also used to kind of wear it as a dress because it was just that type of skirt that you could like pull up and wear as a dress and I thought it was the coolest skirt in the world my aunt gave it to me I wore it to death and then I lost it and I got so devastated like it was a nice skirt for when I was 12 <laughs> but that's probably the one thing that I have to say I regret because yeah and I guess another thing that I regret that I used to do is and I still get picked on this to this day but I have to say I'm my father's daughter when it comes to this I don't get cold often when I get cold it's my arms that get cold my legs don't it's the weirdest thing in the world but what I used to do is in summer I would wear long pants and a long sleeve shirt and in winter I used to wear like what I'm wearing now which is a high waisted pair of shorts and a cropped singlet so I used to wear stuff like that in winter and it was the weirdest thing in the world. I don't know why I did it, but I just did. So yeah, that was the 15, what was it? 15 weird facts about me. Yeah, 50 weird facts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Something a bit different. Like I said, if you want to see like more of these kind of videos, then let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to see a piercing and tattoo video, what is my name doing? I don't know. Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments down below. And I will try and find Maddie's video to this tag, Maddie's version of this tag. Put it in the description below, as well as the questions if you guys want to do the tag. Even though it's not the most hardest thing to find the questions, because all you've got to do is type in 50 weird, yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.